Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I want to do this bunny, what you see here. Um, I think it's really nice. So if you want to crochet with me, please join me and we will start. So we're going to start from hands. Um, for that, we're going to need, um, you're taking whatever thread you want. I will take, the, I have the yellow one, it's yarn art jeans. Um, buying it from eBay I think and I quite like it it's really nice um, so we're gonna start with yellow and we're gonna need for that one pink yet and for the body we're gonna use this gray one so the hook I'm gonna use number two I like it that one but you can take whichever you want this don't really matter you take whatever it's good for your thread so forgive me if I'm gonna have any mistakes if so just write me in the comments I will answer for each and every one uh, if you misunderstood something because this is my first video so that is gonna be a lot of I hope not a lot though, a lot of mistakes okay so let's start so we, how I said we're gonna start from hands so we do magic ring yeah so we insert the hook here we pull that thread that end and we're doing a loop and we pull it here and inside this magic ring we have to make six stitches close the ring close the ring and we're gonna do so now we have to increase each stitch so in each loop we have to do two stitches um, it's hard to see on camera though uh, so each loop two stitches and that way it's gonna be 12 stitches yeah one, two, this this magic ring up the next row is gonna be like that yeah you can put any marker just to to mark the the row to know where you are to not make extra stitches or do not have enough I'm not gonna do it because I'm counted I count them uh, so yeah uh, now we're gonna do like that three stitches like one two 
3 and increase. That means two loops, two stitches in one loop. That's gonna be one. You have to do two times more like that. So one, two, three, increase. And one more time. One, two, three, and increase. Yeah. Okay. That's what. Now, the next one is gonna be. We have to do two rows with 15 stitches, like without any changes, just two rows up. I don't see that. Okay, guys, I did this two rows up. You can see that. Now we're gonna do the thumb. You see that this, this looks like a thumb, you know, when you think she is in the gloves. So we're gonna do that one in this row. So now we're doing like that. One stitch. Doing just want to make sure it's visible because not everyone can. And I'm not a good teacher, I think. So we're doing one stitch here. And the next one, we're doing like taking a loop, just throw the thread over the hook and insert in the next stitch, yeah? You pull it out and you go through, but don't finish. You have to have two loops on the hook, yeah? Now one more time, you're doing it like that. Throw, pull, and pull through two, two, two loops. And now you have three. So like that we have to do until it's here so you're gonna count six of them yeah so we're doing throw pull pull to throw and we have four yeah four one more time two we have five and the last time pull two and now we have six you see it's six here so like two four six now we have to pull the thread between all the six loops like that yeah so that is gonna be our thumb and then the next stitch next loop we're doing one stitch and, and try to tie this up to not be very loose or something because it's not gonna look nice and we crochet in till the end with no changes at all yeah. like that to the end yeah okay guys so the the next row we have to do just 15 stitches which is no changes no nothing should be the same yeah mark your row to not lose the stitches or to not know where to finish which is very important I did so too I like to put a color thread because it's easier to move around And we're doing 15. It's very hard to, to crochet on camera, to be honest. I'm usually faster. But so guys, if I will have any mistakes or something is misunderstand how I said, so please leave me a comment. I will answer as soon as I'm gonna see it. 
and forgive my English, of course, because it's how you can tell it's not my first language. And I have some allergy from somewhere. And it's one more thing to apologize for. So just don't mind me. You have just to watch. And hopefully, hopefully, of course, you're gonna do it with me and you'll like it. And leave a comment below if you like it, my crocheting or at the very least my toy. I've done lots of them, of course, but I have none of them. Okay, so the next row, I finished the row, how you can tell. So the next row, it's gonna be like um, three stitches. So we're doing one, two, three, and decrease. The crease is two stitches we crocheting together. So you are taking, I'm doing them hidden. So I'm gonna do just, I'm gonna take just uh, the first part of a loop. So you see that you have two threads here, yeah. So I'm gonna take just the front one, from one side. I don't know how to put to, to so closer focus. So I'm gonna take the part one, just the first one, the first part, and I'm going straight to the second and taking the same just the one side of this wall or you call it how you, you want and you're pulling together that's it this is one so like that we have to do two more so one two three and we're taking the first part, yeah, and the second stitch we're taking again the front part. I don't know how to explain it better. And we pull the thread here, and we're doing a normal stitch. Yeah. This is two. I'll show one more time because I feel like I'm explaining very bad. Like one. Three. Yeah. And we're gonna take this first uh, the first half of a stitch. I don't know. I think like that will be more understandable. So you're taking the first half half of the stitch and from the second stitch you're taking the other half here. Yeah? And you pull one time like that is like a full normal stitch and you pull one more time that's it that's the row now we will need to to switch the color to pink oh look it's loose to switch the color to pink yeah so i will show you how to do that in a minute Okay, guys. So the last stitch, what the last decrease, what we did, we're not finishing till the end. Yeah, it has to be two loops on the hook, and we're taking the pink or whatever color you want to do, and you're pulling the these two, two loops with the pink one, right? That's it, and tie this last one to not be loose because this. No good. And now we have to to do. Now we're gonna take. We're gonna. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure how it's calling that, but we're gonna take the the back side of the stitch like that. And we're gonna. I don't know if you can see, but I will show you. So the back side. Of the stitch this this side all of them all 12 stitches yeah we're gonna do around like 
like that because later on do not see where we change the the, the thread the thread the thread sorry um so we're gonna do that some sort of like sleeve for for the glove you know that it's gonna be look you see how it's here so if we're gonna take the first the the back side of the the stitch so we will be able to do that um sleeve for for glove and it's not gonna be visible yeah okay so we're gonna do like that 12 stitches yeah one row three okay you do it alone i will show you just one more time so the back the back side of the stitch yeah you take it and you're doing one stitch yep do it like that okay guys so i finished that that um that row and i forgot to mention it, that that this uh, yellow one we're not cutting off we're just leaving aside <clears throat> we're gonna do this sleeve there this sleeve from from the glove um now you just mark the the row you are and we have to do 14 rows up like no changes no nothing 12 stitches 40 rows up got it okay so we'll meet there so 12 rows uh, sorry 14 one four rows up yeah no changes okay Okay guys, so we did this 14 rows up, I'm sorry, uh, now we will be need to fill this one up with the filler, so I, I have a clipper for eyebrows, and I like to use that one, if you have something similar you're doing, if not I just probably had to save it while you crochet in just to fill that one up. Don't don't put too much inside, so the bottom half to be more hard, but the, the from the from the top the the part, so do not feel that much like like the bottom one because it's gonna stand like you know with hands up, so better just to leave a bit empty here. Just gonna put a bit a little bit more. Yeah. That's it. That's it. You see, so here is much harder and here is softer because here is nothing, so it's gonna stand ni nicely here. Okay, after we fill this one up, we need to to crochet these two parts together so that later on we can crochet inside of uh, of of the body so you're just looking this time to be on one side so if you have one stitch too much like i do or more you just let the, let one go yeah and you're taking two walls like i don't know how to make no visible so you're taking one stitch from the one side and from the other side another stitch There you go, yeah, so, and you're doing I'm sorry, uh, I will show one more time because I think I messed up there So, you're taking one loop, yeah The second one from the other part, you see, it has to be all the way through And you doing one stitch Two. All together must be six. Stitch six stitches to close. And be going like that. And the last one. Stitch. And one more loop. That's too close to not 
that is not gonna move after that this thread I'm be cutting this one don't cut too long because you're not gonna sew it unless you want to if you want to sew it that into the body I'm gonna tell you or well, you can do it yourself actually you're gonna see when we're gonna finish the body roughly where to, to sew that on that one I sewed them but here I want just to, to crochet it inside because I like it more and now this one what we left what I told you to put aside we're gonna do this sleeve for for the glove yeah so it's basically very easy you can do it alone I think if you crochet until this time with me so it's gonna be easy for you so you just find the first stitch in the first loop yeah it's somewhere here and you're just doing one loop and one more yeah. and in the same I'm going again yeah. and you carry one just stitches no no adds no nothing just one stitch in each loop You can get on around then. Okay guys, so I did all the way around how you can see, see? Nice, nice. I like it a lot. So the last uh, loop what we have, so it's the beginning of, of the stitch here. Yeah? So we're inserting the hook in the beginning of this first loop what we did and just you're taking the thread and we're pulling, we're not do, doing a stitch, but we're pulling like a closing loop here. Yeah? I don't know how to show. So you're pulling one more time so you insert the hook here in the first one yeah you pull the thread and you're not not taking for another stitch but you're pulling straight through the other one so from two loops is and one more time from other loop I feel like I understood I am I explain very bad I'm uh, just gonna show one more time Okay, so the the first loop what we did, yeah, we're taking the the thread one time. I don't know how to show. So we're taking one time and we're pulling straight to the second one, and then we're doing one loop. That's it. Okay, that's the hand. Now later we're just gonna sew it here. We're gonna crush it inside so it's gonna be exactly the same. Like that one. Okay.